Okay, so the 23-year-old arrived in England having uh, left school at the age of 18 with some education but a will not to go to university and I was offered an opportunity via my Asian background and connections to sell what one refers to as hotel amenities. That actually means sewing kits and shower caps. So I potted off down to the Dorchester age 23 and I shook on the steps. I borrowed clothes so I could look smart enough and I showed them this pre-threaded sewing kit and that was literally the beginning of Pacific with no business plan, no vision, in fact nothing. It took about eight years to bump into the proper business plan. What I did do, and to give credit to the banks, I went and got a small business plan guide. And I sort of wrote that and put it in a drawer and thought, OK, so now I have a good idea. And the plan pretty much said I should sell stuff. For pretty much eight years, we, we that's the royal we for me and myself and I, for the first two years, grew a business. Um, and by 1999, when the wheels were pretty much coming off and we were growing at a huge velocity and I was losing actually um, the will to live nearly because it was getting out of control. We were doing four and a half million pounds worth of turnover. But ultimately, I started to realize that I was completely out of my depth and I found a program, a business program called the Business Growth Development Program at Cranfield. And, and genuinely, I do not underline this enough. It was a life-changing opportunity to learn what real business process and structure was. I think we need to start talking positively about actually what banks can do for business. And banks will support businesses that give you a good cash flow, decent P&L, bit of a plan. It's never going to be perfect. Of course, there are going to be moments where you think, I don't want to tell them about the bad sales. But if you have an open relationship, that's when they'll back you. And they are the cheapest money in town. And you retain your equity. And your equity piece is your most valuable card on the table when you sell. So you should sell your grandmother before you sell equity.